Here's a beautiful abstract painting you can do in under 17 minutes, and that includes the prep time. The actual painting part from when the paint first hits the canvas to the finished product took me less than five minutes. So let's get into it. Materials. So I used a ready mixed pouring paint set. That's basically a very fluid acrylic paint ready to go for this project. And it came with six colors, each four ounces. The canvas I'm using is a 10 inch by 20 inch canvas. You could probably go up to a 12 inch by 24 inch canvas with the amount of paint in the kit, but I used a 10 inch by 20 inch. And these are the other items that you'll need. A level. A smaller one would do just fine, um, and they're pretty cheap on Amazon. And a trash bag or a piece of plastic to catch the excess paint. Cups. These are 9 ounce plastic cups. I use them for raising the canvas off the table and for holding my paint. Tape. I use this to assist with leveling the canvas and to create a simple catch border on the edges of the canvas. Not shown here is a little spray bottle. You'll need that to miss the back of the canvas to make it taunt. Okay, so canvas prep time took me 5 minutes and 23 seconds of the total time. And I'm going to speed up some of this video so you don't have to watch the full 17 minutes. So, first is lay down your trash bag or your plastic. Next is setting down the cups and what we're doing is leveling the canvas because this is fluid art. If you don't have a perfectly level canvas, all that fluid can just flow off. And I check the level both long ways and short ways. And if you need to make some adjustments on one corner or one edge, a roll of masking tape underneath would help kind of balance that out. And anytime you need to make an adjustment, just double check with the level that it's still good. Okay, this next step is a handy little trick. We're going to create a catch border on the short edges so paint doesn't just run off right away. I saw this just today on a Julie Cuts Pouring Your Heart Out video. I love her, she's amazing. Check her out on YouTube if you haven't yet. Okay, one strip of tape face up, another strip of tape face up, a third overlapping, then another strip face down, and a third overlapping onto that. And you press down, so basically one side is sticky, so that it can attach to the edge of the canvas and the other side is not sticky so it can catch the paint. Then you just do that again for the other side. We'll remove this about halfway through. It's just giving us a little bit of time to decide on composition because paint will only be running off two edges instead of all four at once. Okay, canvas prep is done. This next part is opening and combining the paints and this took me six minutes and eight seconds. And I probably could have gotten this video under 15 minutes, but the box took me a long time to open and then each cap and each seal on On all the paints took me a while. So anyways, my method here is I have three cups because I'm going to portion Each cup with a third of the canvas and I'm just guesstimating about a third of each bottle in each cup This is all by feel so just go with your instinct. There's no strategy to my color order either I just want to throw it in there and see what happens and I'm gonna make sure to use all of my paint. So I'll speed this part up. I even made sure to place the bottles upside down so that they'd drain down to the bottom and then re-poured any last bits that I could into the cups. Got every last drop. Now for pouring, this portion took me four minutes and 52 seconds. So I just started pouring and I curved the paint back and around and keep each of the ribbon spaces close together. And I'm trying to keep each of the cup to a third of the canvas so it's as portional as possible. And now for the tilting. This part is very much up to you. So if you're looking for straight and thin lines, it won't take very much tilting to get to that point. And the catch borders will help keep paint on so you can kind of play around with composition. At this point, I want to create more movement with diagonal lines, so I'm going to remove the catch borders. So again, just tilt until you like the look of it. And letting lines fall off one edge, then tilting in the opposite direction will stretch out the lines and give you more of a geode or a striation look. And it can just give you a really interesting composition. All in all, just have fun with it. I love fluid art because it's low pressure and you can just experiment. If it's a bust, you only spent 17 minutes of your time and the cost of going to movies and a popcorn, you know. But if it turns out, then you only spent 17 minutes and got a piece of art that you made. So, also I might add, this works as a great gift idea for that person that has everything, you know, because this is a one-of-a-kind gift. So, just food for thought. 
And if you found this interesting or helpful, click the like button because that'll help me help other people and to keep making content. So thanks.